So this year, we, we hopefully will be able to make about um, 5,000 Optimus robots. Uh, we're technically, uh, we're aiming for- It's an entirely new product, with everything from the ground up being completely different. As Elon Musk put it, we'll be doing great if we can even hit half of our goal. That goal, it's extremely ambitious. Musk wants to build up to 12,000 Tesla Optimus robots by the end of the year. Even he admits that number is quite optimistic, but a target of 5,000 units alone would already make waves in the tech world by 2025. So, how exactly will this plan become a game changer for Tesla's Optimus project? That's what we're diving into in today's episode. Welcome to Next Gen Theories. Before we jump in, we'd love your support. Help us reach 10,000 subscribers. It would mean a lot and keep us motivated to bring you more exciting tech content. Now, Elon Musk is known for overpromising when it comes to electric vehicle production timelines, but with Optimus, he's been surprisingly grounded. A production target of 5,000 robots may sound modest for a company like Tesla, which has built its reputation on mass manufacturing, but it's actually a sensible step. Launching mass production of a completely new kind of product is no small feat. Tesla is still primarily an electric vehicle manufacturer, and producing humanoid robots brings a unique set of challenges. Setting up a production line, manually assembling many parts of the robot, and finding experienced staff are all major hurdles. That's why Tesla is still actively hiring for Optimus-related roles. There are also obstacles in the supply chain, the intricacies of testing and refining each robot, and technological challenges that go far deeper than most people realize. Sure, Tesla has mastered large-scale EV production, but building a humanoid robot? That's an entirely different league. It requires an insane level of precision, countless iterations, and a lot of patience. Interestingly, Tesla has recently made significant progress in setting up a dedicated space for building Optimus robots. Photos from the facility show up to eight nearly finished units, along with numerous assembly trays in the background. What once sounded like one of Elon Musk's far-out dreams is now turning into something very real. Engineers appear to be focused on perfecting the arms and hands of Optimus, an essential part of the robot's function. The hand design is particularly impressive, allowing Optimus to handle delicate tasks like picking up eggs, serving drinks, and performing intricate movements with a high level of accuracy. While other robotics companies are going all in on making robots that run, jump, or do backflips, Tesla is taking a more grounded approach. They're concentrating on functional hands, the part of the robot that interacts most with the physical world. Studies show a strong connection between hand function and brain processing. Think of playing the piano, where each finger must move precisely in time with both the music and rhythm. That level of coordination is incredibly complex. So what's Tesla's long-term strategy and how does it stack up against competitors? Here's where it gets even more exciting. Tesla is also preparing to scale up its next-gen Dojo AI training system. The company has already made major investments in AI infrastructure, both by purchasing high-end NVIDIA hardware and developing its own in-house chips. The first-generation Dojo chips are showing promise, and Tesla has managed to pack 25 of them into a single training tile about the size of a dinner plate, delivering around 15 kilowatts of power. While it's still unknown whether Dojo will outperform NVIDIA's AI clusters, there's potential for huge cost savings. If Dojo delivers just 20% better performance at only 10% of the cost, it would be a major win. Elon has confirmed that Dojo 2, the second generation of Tesla's custom AI chip, is on track to enter mass production in the coming months. It's expected to be 10 times more powerful than Dojo 1, delivering up to 3.6 petaflops of processing power. That could put it well ahead of NVIDIA's H100 and potentially even surpass the upcoming B200 by around 40%. But the real test isn't just performance. It's how Dojo 2 stacks up in terms of power efficiency and cost. For example, if NVIDIA sells the B200 for $40,000 but builds it for $10,000 and Tesla can match its performance at a lower price, that's a clear advantage. Even if Dojo 2 costs $25,000 but performs at a similar level to a $40,000 NVIDIA chip, that's still a win. Since August 2024, 
there's been a lot of growing buzz around another Tesla innovation called Cortex, but we'll explore that in a future episode. Tesla is building a massive new AI training supercluster at its Austin headquarters. This powerful infrastructure is being designed to handle real-world AI challenges. Elon Musk mentioned it will include enormous video storage capacity to support the training of both full self-driving FSD and the Optimus robot. Meanwhile, over at Figure AI, one of the top US humanoid robotic startups, there's been a major development. The company recently made a breakthrough that led it to end its partnership with OpenAI. Figure had been working with Helix to merge high-level reasoning with real-time motor control. This combination helps bridge the gap between object recognition and physical movement, an essential piece of the robotics puzzle. Like Tesla, Figure AI uses its own in-house AI systems. But what seems to be missing from their approach is a clear, long-term strategy for training that AI at scale. Tesla, on the other hand, has been planning for this moment for years. It first introduced its Dojo AI training system in 2019, officially launched it in 2021, and now, just four years later, is ramping up its next generation clusters. Tesla has also successfully deployed its Cortex system, which includes roughly 50,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs. At the same time, development of the Optimus robot is moving at lightning speed. The upcoming Optimus Gen 3 is expected to launch in 2026, after production of the current model stabilizes. Before that full release, Tesla plans to introduce Optimus in select business environments, letting customers experience the robot firsthand. This version will be the most advanced yet, and its starting price could reach up to $50,000. But for that price, you'll get a robot capable of handling nearly any task you give it. We believe even just interacting with the Tesla bot could be fascinating. It doesn't need you to be overly polite, and it's designed to adapt to your needs. Imagine a robot that reminds you to take your medication, helps schedule appointments, and even assists seniors in learning how to use smartphones and tablets. For kids, Optimus could serve as an interactive learning companion, teaching basic skills through games and playful challenges. With its natural language abilities, Optimus could not only help users navigate tech, but also boost their communication and learning. Musk made it clear though, production is still in development. Tesla isn't rushing into mass manufacturing. Instead, they'll focus on producing a few thousand units, with most of the output coming later in the year. Tesla isn't the only company eyeing the robot-as-a-service model, but what sets Tesla apart is its fully integrated ecosystem. Everything from in-house battery production and cutting-edge AI platforms to massive manufacturing capabilities. This gives Tesla a huge edge, especially in the early stages of deployment. Tesla is expected to launch a pilot rental program for Optimus in cities like Fremont and Austin. This will help gather real-world feedback before the service expands more broadly. To speed up adoption, Tesla might even partner with home service franchises making Optimus a useful, everyday tool for households and small businesses. And it gets even better. A likely next step for Tesla is offering API access to third-party developers. This would let them create specialized apps and skills for Optimus, unlocking its full creative potential. What do you think about Elon Musk's bold plans? Drop a comment below. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Now, the big question. When will Tesla actually start mass producing the Tesla bot? Tesla's greatest strength lies in recruiting the world's top engineering talent and moving fast. But history shows that even with that edge, things don't always go as planned. Remember back in 2016, when Tesla announced that every new car came equipped with hardware for full self-driving? At the time, it sounded like self-driving cars were right around the corner, and maybe even earning money as robo-taxis. That blog post was later quietly removed, and now we know why. Since then, Tesla has had to roll out millions of new Hardware 3 computers to replace the older 2.5 versions, which simply weren't up to the task. Now, Musk says those Hardware 3 units will also need to be replaced by even newer systems. Unfortunately, Tesla's latest hardware versions have faced reliability issues, specifically short circuits which triggered large-scale recalls in both the US and China. 
Tesla is currently developing Hardware 5 for its Optimus robot, even as it works to resolve related issues like malfunctioning rearview cameras. One of the biggest breakthroughs has come from Tesla's new AI supercluster, Cortex, built at Giga Texas with 50,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs. This powerful training system has enabled major upgrades to the Optimus robot's computing hardware, with significant improvements in both safety and user comfort. Thanks to Cortex, Optimus now benefits from 4.2 times more data, higher resolution video input, a two-fold reduction in photon-to-control latency, and a completely redesigned control system. However, mass-producing this hardware for Optimus is anything but simple. Tesla also has bold plans for its electric vehicle lineup, especially the upcoming Model 2, which will rely heavily on advanced self-driving hardware. The new chip architecture being developed for Optimus is built on a 7 nanometer process and is designed to serve multiple roles, including autopilot and full self-driving (FSD). Musk recently stated that although Hardware 3 was a game changer, Tesla is already working on a next generation chip that will be about three times more powerful. This unreleased chip is expected to go into production in about two years. As a result, the timeline for mass producing Optimus could be pushed back to 2026 or even 2027. Globally, over 100,000 Teslas equipped with Hardware 3 and the FSD package are on the roads. That number is expected to push demand for retrofits to more than half a million vehicles. Musk wasn't exaggerating when he said upgrading all those cars would be painful. It could cost Tesla more than $500 million and put massive pressure on its service centers. Before we move on, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future updates. Now let's talk about autonomy, the biggest and most important challenge Tesla faces with Optimus. Right now, the robot's ability to operate independently is still very limited. Over the past few months, Tesla has focused on improving Optimus's walking gait, making it more agile and confident in its movements. Its walking speed now suggests it could reach up to 3 miles per hour. At a recent event, Musk unveiled Tesla's CyberCab concept alongside the latest Optimus prototype at the Wii Robot launch. There, we saw Optimus engaging with attendees, serving drinks, socializing, and even playing rock, paper, scissors. It was a huge leap forward, especially considering that just two years ago, these robots could barely stand on their own. Musk boldly declared that Optimus could be Tesla's most important product yet, one that could reshape the company's future. But the excitement was tempered when one of the robots admitted on camera that it was still being helped by humans and wasn't fully autonomous. This didn't shock anyone familiar with the behind-the-scenes concerns. Similar doubts were raised previously when Tesla showcased a robot folding laundry, only for viewers to spot human hands in the video, casting doubt on the robot's actual capabilities. In the most recent demo video, Optimus does show clear progress in mobility. But how autonomous is it, really, in a factory or home environment? That remains uncertain. Tesla insiders estimate that Optimus is currently operating at about 40-50% efficiency compared to a human worker in controlled settings. Its task accuracy is only around 70-75%. In less predictable environments, like homes, offices, or construction sites, efficiency drops below 30%. Despite the rapid pace of AI development, full autonomy for a humanoid robot like Optimus requires far more than just physical ability. It needs to understand context, process natural language, navigate dynamic environments, and continuously learn from real-world data. These are challenges that AI still hasn't fully conquered. In summary, Optimus has enormous potential, but unlocking full autonomy in real-world scenarios is a technical mountain that may take years, even a decade, to climb. Just like Tesla's FSD journey, the road to 90% autonomy for humanoid robots will be long and complex. What do you think about all of this? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. If you found this video helpful or interesting, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to Next Gen Theories. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, stay safe, and see you in the next one.